In this video, we're going to look at how to create a t-shirt design for a praise program in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Over here, we do Photoshop tutorials like this and tech videos. If that's something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing now inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using in this video you might want to download that and follow suit with this design after you're done and you want to show it to me you can reach me out on instagram and show your design to me now with that said let's get into photoshop and let's see how to create this beautiful t-shirt design with a mock-up all right, so the first thing you do is you head over to the description and you download this mock-up. We've already used this mock-up a couple of times. To create some t-shirt designs, you, you can check them up here as well. So in this case, once you have this mock-up right here, what we need to do is we head over to this particular portion that says that your design here. So it's a smart object thumbnail. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this smart object object thumbnail and it is going to open a new whole set of documents for us so what we are going to do is we are going to get rid of this placeholder so we are just going to turn that one off and then we can start with our design here so the first thing we need to do is since this is so blank and we can't actually see from here let's go ahead to the layer adjustment here left click on that and we are going to add a solid color the solid color can of course be any color at all but it has to be something that is visible now we are going to make use of only test and a couple of design elements that we got from png3.com so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to select our test tool that is t for test and then we are going to left click to start creating the test now because our background is already white we can go ahead and select the color over here go to the color palette and then we can change this to something like black so that it will be visible now the font that we are going to use is called bon bon regular so the font sounds very funny so we are going to select that and then we are going to type our test so so you can press ctrl t to open it up like this now but then sometimes when you download this particular font you wouldn't have it styled this way in that case what you need to do is you go to your toggle character over here and then you left click on that it would open the character and paragraph section for you and then you locate this particular icon that says that swash so you realize that if you turn the swash off this is how the font is going to appear for you and then if you turn the swash on this is how it is going to look like for you so if you download the font and then you don't have this stylish font you can go to the toggle character and make the changes and of course a link to download the font also will be in the description so once you have this you can then go ahead and press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit like that and then you can get rid of the toggle character over here now we need to apply a very simple gradient on top of this one so you can right click on this test right click on that go to the blending options over here and then we are going to apply a gradient onto that now once it opens head over to the gradient overlay and then this is the gradient that i made use of so when you left click on the gradient bar here you can choose any of the gradients that you have in your gradient pack i'm using photoshop 2021 that is why my gradient is arranged like this so you can go for any of them and the specific gradient that i went for is in the blues and over here right over here so you can try it with any different color that you want probably if you want to change it to a different color let's say you want to go to uh, let's say the oranges let's see something from here you can as well try from oranges something like that any color at all that you want to use you can of course use it so we can go to the pinks this is how it looks like so i'm going for my blues and these are not the only colors that you can actually choose the moment you choose a particular set of gradients what you can do is you can left click on the color over here and then you can change it to any color at all perhaps the color that the specific color that you want is not located in the gradient you can just left click on the color here 
and then you can give it any color at all that you want to use but if you want to go specifically with what we are using this is the first color and of course this is going to be the second color so after you've done with everything you can go ahead and click ok and then you can click ok from here as well for the properties you can as well reverse the color or the gradient or you can leave it like that you can choose the radial linear and make sure especially if you are using three colors you can use the radial option here but for this case we are going to go with the linear and once you have everything set to the point that you want you can just go ahead and click ok now the next thing we do is we go ahead and press ctrl t and we can transform this test a little bit so you press ctrl t you see this arrow and then you bring your arrow to the right side and then you can left click and hold and then you drag it sideways like that so that you can have your design rotated a little bit like that once you have this ready you can make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then you can drag it right on top of this one we can come to the layer options over here the layer the layers section or the layer panel and then you can right click on this and go to clear layer style now we can select the test and then type in mine so the program is going to be my redeemers praise so we are going to have mine over here and we are going to double click on that and you can give that also a different color as well any color at all that you want to use so something like that and then you can press ctrl t to transform it out so something like this and position it right over here just like that now we make another duplicate one more duplicate and then we can drag it to the very bottom over here and we position it right over there and then we are going to change that also to praise so it reads my redeemers praise so something like that and then you can position it over here now after you have your test we can then go ahead and press ctrl s to see exactly how this is going to be positioned on our t-shirt mockup so if you come here currently this is what we have but if you go back to the badge 21 and press ctrl s to save this this is what we're going to have when it comes to the t-shirt mockup so this now you realize that the white background is still in it so what we are going to do is we are going to turn that background off and then we save it again and then when we head over to our t-shirt mockup this is currently what we have impressive right so now once we have added colors we can then go ahead and turn off or delete this background color that we added because we wouldn't need it at all so we can select from my redeemers to the praise over here and then we can press ctrl g to group that press ctrl t and then we can transform it out a little bit like this so let's position it right over here so something like that will be fine now we are going to add a couple of design elements to this to make it so catchy now we will open our design resource a link will be in the description and the first one we're going to bring in is this design element that i got from png3.com so this is the portion that i want so i'm going to go for my polygonal lasso tool we're going to make a selection from here this is purely a png file so you don't need to make any or you don't need to cut out anything you just need to make a selection and then you can start using it so you press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we can drag it inside of our badge or the documents that we are working on you press ctrl t and then you can transform it out like that now you realize that the colors in this one already matches the colors that i'm using so that is quite cool but if in case it doesn't match or in case it's not how you really want it or you really wanted it you can easily press ctrl u to activate the hue and saturation and then you can play with the colors to any type or any color at all that you want to use since this works for me i'm going to leave it like that and then i'll press ctrl j to make another one more duplicate so i'm going to drag it over here press ctrl t and then i'm going to rotate it like that so that it rotates and face the other side and then i can position it right over here or perhaps make it a little bit smaller and drag it somewhere here now afterwards we can press ctrl s to save this and we can see how we are doing from this main design or this main t-shirt design so this is how we are currently looking like and it looks good so the next thing we can do is we can go to 
our design element again and then i'm going to make a selection of this particular one so select this ctrl j and then i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it right over here so it is going to be underneath of the praise so you transform it a little bit like that and then you can position it somewhere over here so praise and we can make a duplicate of the test over here drag it to the right side and then we are going to change this one to 21 so praise or my redeemers praise 2021 so something like that and then we can hold alt and drag this effect onto the 2021 like this so that we have something like that now we are done with this particular element the next element we are going to open is this particular element over here all of them from png3.com so we are going to open this one up and then we are going to make a selection from this particular point this is the only thing we need from this particular design element so we are going to drag that into our work so right over here you can see it from here now you can see it really properly because the background is already a png so after we're done with this we can go ahead and press on ctrl s to save it and this is how we are looking like currently now afterwards you can take time to since it is all grouped up make sure that it is positioned in the middle something like that and then you can press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit like this so that it is positioned well nicely and after you've done with everything you can then go ahead and click on ctrl s to save it so this is how the final design is going to look like now in the mock-up there is a portion for you to change easily change the design shirt so you can turn on this particular one the, the one with green so it changes the color like this and then you can double click on this particular layer thumbnail over here it will open the colors for you and then you can change it to any color at all that you want to use so something like this or you can go for something like that but this is almost blending with the background so we can go for something like this a lighter blue or something so you can easily change the color also from here and if you want to print this particular design you can as well go ahead and press ctrl shift and then s to save this as a png that is it is going to save as a png without a background and then you can give it to any designer at all to to print this on a t-shirt for you and then you can use this format by changing the colors of the t-shirt and then you can present that digitally on your social media platforms as well and basically that's how to create a very simple art test with a slice of design element praise t-shirt for your churches for your organizations and for any activity that you want to use a t-shirt i hope you learned something from this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very encouraging thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye